Interactive 3D technologies and game mechanics allow presenting even the most complex information in a fascinating way. The number of users returning to a game is several times greater than that of returning users of an ordinary informational app. In the course of the game, they are motivated to learn more about the museum exhibits with which they have repeatedly interacted. This initiates a process of active learning. On the other hand, we all know about a huge number of blockbuster games involving weapons that often promote violence. We realize that our game needed to win over some of their audience and bring it to the virtual museum. We put forward several hypotheses on how to engage different audiences into interaction with the museum part of the game. For example, fans of shooter games used to get into the game for the chance to shoot from historical weapons. But later, they would start to become interested in the construction of such weapons, their history and their legendary proprietors. Therefore, there is no forced immersion into the culture, which is a problem when trying to instill culture in modern teenagers. We decided to show the weapons not as a means of violence, but as a product of engineering genius gunsmiths and as a means of protecting the motherland heroes. It does not matter what country heroes. Every country has its heroes that people are proud of. You can see in game weapons created by Colt, Maxim, Mosin, Spagin, and other great gunsmiths. We plan to create a 3D simulator which allows to interact with the most famous weapons presented in the museum. We shot hundreds of photos and obtained real drawings of all these weapons and original instructions for their use. The functioning of every exhibit is lifelike. A user is able to see every exhibit in the X-ray mode during any animation. To see the functioning of complex mechanisms at a speed of 1 500th of a second to disassemble and assemble weapons as a puzzle, and to enter into speed competitions with friends. And yet, each of these museum exhibits is a cultural asset. As a result, within the first two months from the date of the first release, the game was installed by more than 300,000 users and became popular all over the world. The game was released in 75 local stores of Google Play and App Store. It has been localized into 20 languages, some of them by the game's fans. The interest and activity of our audience permitted the game to take its rightful place among purely gaming projects that enjoy huge audiences and to attract the interest of users in an extra competitive category of simulation games. Nowadays, we get 5,000 to 7,000 new users a day. The number of active users of the game amounts to 43,000. The game was included in the category Recommended for the Family, Brain Games at Google Play. The game contains no violence, only a lot of interesting mechanics and cognitive information. For the users who prefer to watch the exhibits, through the fact we offer a web version of the game using WebGL technology. We actively collect feedback through a vote for features and weapons. We have created a group of beta testing of the interested users to help develop the game. Our page at Google Play is a mini community for feedback collection. For some of our users, the game has become an encyclopedia of weapons and a virtual museum. For others, an interesting game and for others still, a history textbook. As for us, Weapons of Heroes is the labor that inspires us and gives hope that multimedia opens an opportunity to attract extensive masses of people to a wide variety of cultural activities.